For those suffering from Premier League football withdrawal symptoms, fear not for ESPN Star Sports are returning with their comprehensive coverage of the world's most exciting league. It's a brand new season about to kick off and to celebrate the return of action-packed weekends of top quality European football, ESPN Star Sports are launching their total football experience which aims to provide fans with enough of the beautiful game to satisfy even the most hardcore followers. As well as BPL action, viewers will also get to enjoy the very best from the Spanish La Liga on ESPN Star Sports next season as well. Speaking at the recent Total Football launch at the Crystal Ballroom PJ Hilton, presenter Andrew Lessie was hoping that the new Premier League campaign will bring with it the same thrills and dramas as last season. The BPL will be bigger and better, more high profile players, uh, I think there will be more competition for top four places, there will be three, four, maybe even five way race for the title. I think it promises to be one of the most open seasons for years. Looking forward to that, so many games, you know, there's going to be something riding on each and every game throughout the course of the season. Alas, Malaysian viewers will have to do without the controversial but often entertaining comments of local boy Shebi Singh this season as he has moved on to ruffle feathers in the UK as Blackburn's global advisor. But returning for no holds barred analysis once again are ex-Everton Liverpool and England midfielder Steve McMahon and ex-Man United QPR and England fullback Paul Parker. Now life as football pundits, granted it's not as exciting as playing football for a living, but as these two ex-pros will happily attest, it's still a pretty amazing thing to be getting paid to watch football full time. Absolutely, I mean, you're right, and it's what I've said before. It's, I mean, it's a progression, and it's if you can't play it, then you coach. If you can't coach, you manage. If you can't manage, then you get. You, we're still involved in football, and that's the important thing. And it still gives me a buzz when, it, when the Premier League starts. It, 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 there's something in me that I love watching games. And uh, I'm fortunate to be getting paid for talking about it. Champions elect Man City impressed everyone in the Community Shield recently. City looked solid against Chelsea in the match and must be favourites to retain their crown going into the new season. They've got continuity now after, after winning the FA Cup and winning the league now. They've got continuity now in, in their squad. It, you know, if it goes down the same road, then I think they'll go on and maybe go and win it. It's going to take a team to beat them. It's going to take a good side to beat them over that duration. Again, I look at them, they're, just, they're strong in every single department. And what of Chelsea? They spent big in the summer, but looked in the Community Shield match recently like they have yet to gel as a team. Um, they bore the life out of me, Chelsea. <laughs> they bore me. They, there's nothing changed over, over the past three or four years in terms of the organisation, the, the formation. Someone, I mean, someone tell Di Matteo to change the format, do something different. As a lifelong Liverpool fan and former player, just how excited is Macca at the prospect of new manager Brendan Rodgers instilling some of his preferred Tiki Taka style to Liverpool's brand of football? Not so simple, according to Macca. It's like Norwich played detractor football. Norwich not Liverpool. The pressure will be on. Trust me. It's OK having a brand of football. You've got to get results as well. With regards to his old club, Manchester United, Paul had some strong views about them going into the season with a certain Robin Van Persie's name being bandied about. I played at Macca, yeah. touching that early, and I'm kind of thinking, is it again? Because I worry that the Glaciers were worried about what they deemed as dead money for somebody who they were, they were saying, we can get them for nothing next year. But they, but they don't understand football, how it works. No, no. And I think it'd be a good signing on that point of him and Rooney together. Yeah. What worries me is, uh, again, is Rooney going to have to drop off deep to instigate things for him? He still needs another midfield player. Still needs, in my opinion, a left back. And to sign off, what about Macca and Paul's hopes for the upcoming season? More of the same like last season, I suppose? I mean, I think it was great for the fans and anybody who weren't even following football. Everyone loved and everyone still talks about the last day of the season. But at the end of the day, City, City should have won that league two, three weeks earlier. It was City's league. City nearly lost the league last season, but the best team won the league. I hope really there'll be more competition for City because City could just up, and, up another notch and they could beat anybody. That was the difference. I just really hope that and someone else can, can really compete with them 
properly this season all the way, not by good luck, good fortune, really match them in all departments. Last season City, City were cruising, then United took over and, and, and then they blew it and then City took over again and they never blew it. So it was fascinating just for them to United City. I want Arsenal to come to the fore. I, <coughs> I, I love Arsenal the way they play, but no end product. And, and with Podolski in the side, I think there might be a little bit more of, a, of an agency to get the ball in the box.